I have salutations. This is something awful, and um, as you can see, I actually finally fixed the um brightness settings. I um basically messed around on my capture card a bit, so hopefully these settings are better now. Anyway, um, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we beat the fourth dungeon, if memory serves, and now we're going to continue onwards. And I'm gonna immediately start going the wrong way, but basically we want to continue this way now and actually move out into the big wide world of Hyrule Field which is pretty exciting I mean it's fairly late in the game to be doing that I'm <laughs> just running through chopping the grass oh yeah this guy's back out here and um we already got the lantern oil bottle right um controls yes okay we have the two bottles that's good this is where we're supposed to be at this point. We obviously can't go this way because there's a rock in the way, and we're not going to be able to break that yet. So, um, let's go where we're supposed to. I, um, severely doubt any, um, thing special is going to happen in, uh, if I go back to Ordon Village at this point. So I'm not going to, because a lot of other stuff's going to happen instead. Anyway, welcome to Hyrule Field. If we look at our map, um, our map... You'll notice, um, we're still in the Elding Province, so there's this whole area of this, like, mushroom cloud that is Hyrule that we still have to explore. I do like this map, how it's actually a map, but, like, as you can see, we've explored all of Oradon. <laughs> Why am I going through this right now? Anyway, we'll continue on momentarily. First, we want to, um, kill these guys, and as per usual, you can finish them, and... Oh. I have to remember how to do that. I think it's only if you kill stronger enemies, but I thought they'd be strong enough. Anyway, there seems to be an enemy music still for some reason, which is kind of weird. Okay, there we go. And, um, here we are. Yeah, as I said, we're in Hyrule Field. I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, um, I, I do like the atmosphere and world that makes up this game. It actually feels, for the most part, like a world, not like a series of puzzles or anything. Anyway, um, if we follow this road, this is the road that led from Oron Village. I'm not really going to go much out of my way. There's this thing, which I don't even know what it is, but it leaves these, which I think break into birds. So you want to um, kill it. Um, let's just dizzy it and then kill it. And this guy's going to come out of nowhere, so we're just going to kill him really easily now. Yeah, as you can see. Um, but actually, I'm completely ignoring what I was saying earlier. I'm forgetting what I was looking for. But if we continue over here... You can see this is the path that leads out of the village, and, um, might as well just follow it for now. I distinctly rem There, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, basically up here, if we continue down this path, there's actually a heart piece in this tree, so just kind of grab it with your boomerang. You don't think it's going to be that easy, but we got a piece of heart. It's that easy. And we also got a blue ruby, which is worth five rubies. <laughs> now, as you can see, the um, path continues down here, and, um, Night's falling on me again. All in, and yeah. There's a little bridge here, which, like, it's completely pointless because there is another path that I just completely waste time. But yeah, you can see I could take the other path, but let's just. Ah! Monstrous turkey vulture thing. But yeah, if we continue down here, you'll find that, um. Well. Mainly, there's more of these guys who, again, I'm just going to kind of kill. But the path splits, but it continues. So this is where we would have been going to get to um, the castle, which you can see in the twilight up ahead. Except It almost has like a veil of light around it, and it's turning the twilight on me. But I don't think I'm going to be able to go this way, because, well, if I do, I'm just going ways I never go. This is kind of random. Anyway, we got another blue rupee. But, there's going to be a rock slide up here. As you're going to see, yeah, you can see the rock slide now. There's no way get, we're getting past that. So that path leads to, um, like, the castle. We'll be going there eventually. I, I am going to be going, like, everywhere eventually, obviously, because it's a Zelda game. But, um, if I roll back, which is going to take a while, because I'm just going everywhere except for where I'm supposed to right now. This crossroad here up ahead, we can like take the other path, which is actually gonna also lead us absolutely nowhere right now. So why am I showing off? And now he yeah, has the sun's just setting, and you can see it like 
cropping behind the tree there because cropping is clearly a word. And, um, there's some birds there. And, actually, the one time I noticed that the sun isn't, um, okay, there's like a bajillion birds all around me. So let's kill them. And can, oh, maybe I should go back and grab a heart that one of them might have dropped. Because one of them might have dropped a heart, which would be nice because I managed to take damage. But no, there's a heart on the last one. Anyway, so let's grab that and heal. But over here, as you can see, there's a gate in the way, and we can't possibly open it at this point. So I'm not even going to bother. And there's like a lot of these birds as I get lag, it felt like, from on there. That was weird. But let's actually go where we're supposed to, you know? Maybe. Just maybe stop wasting all this time. And I'm going to mash the roll button, and it does feel... A weird. Anyway, there's a guy there trying to walk into the cliff, so we're gonna just kind of, like, attack him while his back is turned. Link, the brave- wait, did you just- yeah, those, um, eggs. Oh, yeah, the skeleton dogs, these things come out at night. I, I completely forgot these things were in the game, because I never take this long. And we got ourselves a yellow rupee, it's worth ten rupees. Twice as much as a blue rupee. Anyway, um, kill that thing. And I'm gonna wait for a green rupee drop. I'm getting rich already. I, I forgot that the first wallet was 300 rupees. Jeez. Anyway, if we continue over here, first of all, um, there's that bridge we took. But this is apparently the other main route out of the um village, because well, if you will no out of like the Ordon province is the other main place we a go to as I get interrupted by a letter carrier mailman guy. Who's gonna basically tell us that we can't go that way? Because there's a twilight there. He's lucky enough to not be in said twilight now, isn't he? Anyway, um, he's gonna give us a letter which we can read, which I guess I will read because it's a letter. I should show them off. Anyway, um, letters, and basically he's gonna tell us that we can get letters from him. Yeah, anyway, um, here, you'll notice that the other path that we could have taken from the village is here. It's very, like, not as worn in as the other one was the detail I was talking about. But yeah, it just connects over there. I'll, I'll be showing it off at some point. I'm sure I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm already, like, seven minutes or something into the episode. This is ridiculous. Let's actually move on with stuff and you know just go the way we're supposed to over here so that's how real feel for you right we're gonna go through like a little cavern area here and um meet the wall of twilight oh yeah that's gonna happen yes die so um it's closer than she thought i guess we didn't push it back as far as she thought anyway um yeah we're gonna be going back to the twilight um, to save the light for the next area of the game, which is fun. So, um, yeah, this thing just always looked cool to me. Anyway, let's, let's go to the twilight and continue onwards. This is, like, the first time that Minda's going to be pulling us in and transforming us into a wolf. And, yes, I want to go in there and continue with the game, which should be fun. Anyway, um, yeah. So here we are in... Twilight Realm again. So, yeah. Let's continue with this. And we turn into a wolf. Yes. So she's gonna basically be like... Yeah, she's gonna explain that she doesn't... Our clothes are dusty. Anyway, we can... She's gonna basically be like... You can't return to the world of light like that. So let's go. Um... Basically... Ah... Twilight plants, those things, they exist, that's right. So basically there's this, which, um, as you, um, do we still have the whole map? Yeah, you may notice, um, that you can smell this and sniff. It's our old sword, which apparently glows green, and it's that baby who may or may not be evil and it's her. Who I really, apparently, really forgot about that other episode when I said no one cares about, um, Talo or Malo. I forgot completely about, um, What's your name, even? I don't even know. 
Anyway, yes, he's gonna basically we um can learn smells and we can just follow the smells. And at this point, I basically traditionally just turn on my scent and follow the smell. But yeah, you can see there's another um piece of this. I'll explore it more later. I always just ah oh yeah these guys, and so we're suddenly in one of these battles. So basically, um press B and you've got it. It's a nice easy one because this is actually your, I've actually died to that one before somehow. But we get ourselves a portal. Anyway, here we get introduced to a mechanic which I found hilarious on my first playthrough because the bridge is missing. And this is like a puzzle that comes up a few times in the game where it's like, okay, something's missing. Go find the something to to fix. Anyway, basically what you have to do is get you can um yeah, I uh, basically you can warp things, big things, and so. Um, you need a bridge, basically. You need to go get a bridge, and it's in North Farron Woods. Yeah. And you can't get that hard even if you want it. So, to North Farron Woods. And so we can leave the twilight at any time, and go to just plain night. I don't know why she, why she has to be in, like, the spirit form in night. I mean, it's not even, like, daytime. Anyway, uh, technically it's darker here than in her world. Well, it should be anyway. There's the bridge. So, <laughs> yeah, this town is just kind of dropped off this bridge here. So, yeah, we want to um, take this bridge and warp it back. Like, you can see, like, how big of a field there's going to be there. Because, yeah, we're still in Hyrule Field. We'll get there eventually. Not for a while, though. Yes, we want to take this bridge to Kakariko Gorge. This is just so random on my first playthrough for me anyway. I just was like, but what? When this happened... Yeah, Minda can do that. Yeah, I think I've gotten my point across that she's really useful, and then she's going to warp us too. So we can warp out of the twilight, but not right away. You'll, you'll, I really don't, again, understand the logic behind why, because she clearly can just pull us right back in. I don't know. Anyway, we put the... um. Actually, I, I, I do know why. Never mind. I'm, I'm thinking of something completely different. We've gotten the warp ability now. But uh, I, I realize basically the flaw in my logic there. Anyway, we've gotten the bridge now, and like you can see, I guess I can, like I could show off this, but there's really nothing we can do in this field at present. So I'm just gonna um, continue the fall of the scent because that's really what you should do. Because this is where the kids that we're actually looking for. You can see there's a path that goes off that way, for example. But that, like, I'd always just do this, basically through this part, and, like, just dash through it. Because, and then I'd get here. And they're behind that gate, which looks rather, like, evil. I just kind of realized. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's, is that, red? I guess maybe that's part of the reason this game's rated teen right there, because I don't think that's red paint. Anyway, um, like, we dig right here, pretty obviously. To get under the gate. Which, now we can attack these guys, and, um, as I've mentioned before, it's impossible to, um, kill these guys without knocking them down before you kill them. Which is rather annoying, but they're dead now. So we're gonna, um, continue on up here. Why not? And, um, we're actually gonna get to a mainstay in the Zelda series. Excuse me, um... Yep. Here we are in, well... I don't know, this one's a little weirder than I want, but it's Kakariko Village. Well, it's basically just a main dragon. It's very, um, like... Runesy, actually. It's weird. Anyway, um... We're gonna get stuck in one of these battles anyway. I'm gonna go kill this one first, because it's way out of the way. And so I want to kill it first. It's actually possible to escape these, like, barriers, which won't help. I know it's like a glitch, but yeah. Um, whoops. Okay, I'm going to have to go back because I accidentally pressed B there. I just realized, though, I can kind of go like this and just kill one. I don't need to have two to use that move. So let's um, get in between them, try and grab them both, and there we go. We've beaten the battle. Yeah, those are just little puzzle battles anyway. Already, like... It's a lot faster to get there than last time, but, um, 
There's a lot more to do after it this time. Not really much before. Well, last time you after it, you just basically went straight to the dungeon. But um, basically we're gonna be doing this segment again. So um, rather than ignoring everything, we're gonna um, go over here and talk to the light spirit and continue on with stuff. So yeah, we're basically gonna get that tier of light thing again already. Yes, this segment. Everyone's favorite segment. Actually, I, I don't really mind it. It's, it's it's not my favorite mechanic in the game by any, by any means, but it, it's there. Anyway, yeah, we're going to um, be doing that again. So, um, this one's a little bit more difficult than the last one, obviously. I mean, yeah, she's going to basically... Or he, I don't know. She's going to show us where they are, but if we look at our map... Um, that's this button... You can see that most of them are in the village. There's one there. None are in the field, thankfully. And there's a few on the mountain. So, um, we're actually going to be doing that next time. This is something awful. So and I have sign up. Goodbye.